Your mama and them are doing good. Maybe. <laughs> I got a name for your judge. Cornelius Holden. He just made a call to Luke. First elected him to the Fifth Circuit in 1951. There's something else you should know. Those two men are Lamont Harris and Trey McCall. They were killed by a man named Hollis Dupree. Yeah, I heard he gunned them down when they showed up to his house asking for help. Hollis claims he was in self-defense, said he thought they were there to kill him. Cornelius is the judge that's presiding over the trial. So killing him might kick up a lot of noise. <laughs> Cornelius is an entitled southern asshole. Killing him is gonna do a lot more than kick up some noise. Hopefully, it'll send a message that it's long past the time that those cocksuckers went extinct. That's the car down there that Lou is talking about. That thing armored? I pulled the work order for it. It's a complete custom job. Tough as hell. It'll take a pounding, but it won't be impossible. Cornelius is scheduled to leave any time now, so this is your window. You follow a set route? Not since the trial started, but he still makes a stop or two on the way home. So, you can either hit him then, or go after him when he's driving around. All right. Vagrants and hobos. And... Watch out for the cops.
If you're ready to move against Lou, get in. I got a beat on him. You want to hear Marcano tear Uncle Lou a new one? Lou Marcano was bribing a district judge named Cornelius Holden, is that correct? Sal Marcano spent a lot of money getting Holden in his pocket. A lot of money. Judges like that don't come cheap. And with Holden out of the picture, Sal had to find someone else to legalize gambling. And that person was State Senator Walter Jacobs. That's right. You had one fucking job, Lou. That was to keep holding him one goddamn piece to left in that room. What was I supposed to do? He wouldn't listen, Sal. It ain't my fault. Ah, uh, nothing's ever your goddamn fault. I swear, if you wasn't my brother, I'd clip you myself. Now listen here. I know a guy, a state senator named Jacobs. He's on the Revenue and Fiscal Affairs Committee. <laughs> Has a lot of influence. Can we get to him? Already have. He has a thing for fucking on women who ain't his wife. I don't want to twist this guy's balls out of the gate, you understand? We need to be smart about this. Yeah, 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 of course. Uh, how about I throw him a fundraiser on the riverboat? Show him a real nice time. Get him laid, all that shit. This goddamn casino got me tapped, you understand? This goes down to shit or we're fucked, all of us. Well, I'll pick the guests myself. Make sure they know what's what. Then we'll take a nice long cruise down the bayou, get them all liquored up. Once he sees that payday, Jacobs is gonna do whatever we want. 
Lou Marcano knew everyone. I mean, politicians, merchants, lawyers, bankers. He insisted on being called Uncle Lou and was basically the Santa Claus of the French ward. According to the police reports, Mr. Marcano and Mr. Jacobs were killed during a fundraiser on a riverboat. The thing about the bayou is it's a very big place. You could blow the living shit out of everything in sight and no one would even notice. <laughs> Ready to go when you are. Assume you already mapped out where the riverboat's gonna go. Lou's pretty fastidious about that kind of thing. Always follows the same path when he goes cruising through the bayou. Doesn't want anything to happen to his beloved Delphine. <laughs> gonna be the least of his problems. You recon the area? There's an old coal dumper that they have to sail past. I've already got it rigged to blow. You just need to connect the primer cord to each block and then set it off. Detonator's down by your feet. All right. Isolate and kill. Lincoln Clay specialty. What's wrong? Eh, it's the boat thing, isn't it? Not saying it is, not saying it ain't. <laughs> You need to get over it. You were on, what, 40, 45 PBRs in country? 52. That's not the point. You don't know what it's like to get onto a boat knowing full well the damn thing's gonna sink. It gets old, man. Look, you blow the coal dumper. Boom. It hits the boat. Then you jump on board and kill Lou and those other assholes. 50-50, you don't even get wet. 50-50? Well, 40-60, but still. Thirty seventy at the worst. Starting to think I ain't oh. alone here. Hold your ass. Bro, stuck in down. Ain't supposed to be here. Hey, this is a massive fool. Ladies and gents, y'all beat the devil out of him. Pow, motherfucker. <laughs>
worry about. Let's get you upstairs. You'll fan out. Watch the rest of the boat. This sure shit wasn't an accident.
Let's look this way.
Get behind me! My re-election spoiled. Him.
cocksucker! Mystery fucking solved. Get that asshole. I got the front! In my sights! That's far enough, you wop asshole! What the fuck, Lou? Take another step, Inkitch. Can you think I give a shit about some politician? Please! Please, I, I don't even know what's going on! I got a name for your judge. Cornelius Holden. He just made a call to Luke. First elected him to the Fifth Circuit in 1951. There's something else you should know. Those two men are Lamont Harris and Trey McCall. They were killed by a man named Hollis Dupree. Yeah, I heard he gunned them down when they showed up to his house asking for help. Hollis claims he was in self-defense, said he thought they were there to kill him. Cornelius is the judge that's presiding over the trial. So killing him might kick up a lot of noise. <laughs> Cornelius is an entitled southern asshole. Killing him is gonna do a lot more than kick up some noise. Hopefully, it'll send a message that is long past the time that those cocksuckers went extinct. That's the car down there that Lou is talking about. That thing armored? I pulled the work order for it. It's a complete custom job. Tough as hell. It'll take a pounding, but it won't be impossible. Cornelius is scheduled to leave any time now, so this is... Anything. Oh, just say it. You just say it. <laughs> Lord almighty. State Senator Walter Jacobs was killed 
this evening in a fiery explosion aboard a riverboat. Local businessman Louis Marcano also lost his life, along with dozens of other wealthy donors there to attend a political fundraiser. When Lincoln left his gutted body on a statue commemorating Andrew Jackson, people were horrified. I mean, how could that be anything but a political statement? Lincoln once told me he couldn't tell any other cheek that the world doesn't work that way. <laughs> I spent the better part of 40 years trying to prove him wrong. But I was just lying to myself. Look at how we treat each other. Passion is a sign of weakness, but greed is a virtue. The poor is considered morally corrupt, while every excess of the powerful is celebrated. We sent kids off to die. For what? So someone can make a few bucks? Lincoln was right. He was always right. <laughs> there ain't never gonna be another Dr. King or a Bobby Kennedy. But there always gonna be another Sal Marcano, another Sammy Robinson, another Lincoln Clay. We are cruel and wicked people. Is it over? There's no one left to stand in our way. We run this city now. Whether it's Haitian men locking down a racket or not, you already got me running most of this city. In the long run, it's easier to keep everything running through me. Then you know you got nothing to worry about. Okay, so you got yourself a 50-50 split in this district. And let's be honest. Odds are good you're probably gonna do just fine either way you go. But I'd be happy as hell if you went my way. I've stuck by you. You got no idea how long I've been dreaming of this moment, Lincoln. Don't second guess this, Lincoln. Take your time. I'm sitting... Calling this one for Scaletta. Thanks, kid. Spent most of my life getting fucked by one asshole or another. And what we got going here is a real future. Ain't no one fucking with us anytime soon. Indulge me for a second here. I got something to say. You and me, we knew it wouldn't be easy. And that, more than likely, we'd suffer some losses along the way. But we made it. Now all we gotta do is figure out how to fuck to keep a hold of it. Fuck. Fuck! You know how long I've been waiting for someone to stand up and be a man of his word? And in all my fucking days, you, Lincoln Clay, are the first motherfucker to do it. Thank you. You've done a hell of a job, Lincoln. Couldn't have done a better job myself. Probably. I know how hard it was losing Burke. But sometimes, people do everything they can to destroy any chance they have for happiness. You did everything you could. I'll admit it. I had my doubts, but no more. You came through just as you promised. And I'm lucky to be a part of it. I'm gonna need you two to work out your shit. This ain't the Cassandra and Vito show. We need to be on the same page, because it won't be long before someone else comes up and tries to take us out.